Hey, what's going on, nerds? Welcome back to another weekly update, the place that keeps you updated on all things gaming. Capcom says games should be even more expensive. Take your racing sim wherever you want to go. And a new handheld device is out now. Let's get it started. All right. Anyone in the U.S. who has bought a PS5 starting on September 20th or plans to buy one coming up, can claim a free game until October 20th, just in time for Spider-Man 2. Capcom president thinks games should be even more expensive because dev costs keep rising and devs just want to be paid more. This makes things like Game Pass even more appealing though. Also something that wasn't mentioned was how much game company CEOs make, because I bet you could find a decent amount of money there, especially from the big boys like Activision and such. Sticking with Capcom though, they have gone on record saying that they would not accept a Microsoft buyout, which I think is okay, since competition is good and not all devs need to be under one roof. And again, everyone has a price tag. Counter-Strike 2 officially is released on Steam, upgrading from the decade-old CSGO with some new graphic boosts to maps and tweaks to gameplay mechanics like how smoke reacts and being able to refund a weapon you might have accidentally bought just like the original game though, I bet this one stays at the top of the charts for some time to come. For those that haven't played or waiting for the PC release of Horizon Forbidden West, it's coming to PC next year with a complete edition on its way to the PS5 October 6th. Alright, let's talk about some gear. Just in time for Forza, Logitech made a foldable racing chair that can actually save you space even with the wheel and pedals connected. So in case you wanted that driving sim experience, even in a tiny apartment, it's possible, but that'll run you $299. Next up is the new Pocket Analog Transparent Colors out today. For $249, gets you the same experience as the original one, which can play over 2,000 plus Game Boy cartridges with 10 times the resolution as the OG Game Boy, and can also be played on your TV with an adapter. By the time you're done watching this video though, I wouldn't be surprised if they're already sold out like the original and Pocket. Now, if the Pocket Analog does become sold out, or you just want a handheld that's cheaper to play your old school games on, then might I suggest the Super Pocket handheld for $60 instead. There's a few additions that can play 10 or more games and can also take Evercade cartridges that can allow you to play up to 500 games since each cartridge holds 10 or more games usually for about 15 bucks. Thanks for tuning in though. If you enjoyed the show, make sure to subscribe and leave a comment right below that like button what your favorite piece of the news this week was. I hope to see you next week with more gaming news. Until then, guys, take it easy. With 10 times the resolution. <laughs>